osmosis in raisins. In this module, you will learn how osmosis takes place in raisins. Osmosis is the movement of water molecules from a region of higher solvent concentration to a region of lower solvent concentration across a semi-permeable membrane. In our body, various nutrients are transported through osmosis. Since it is difficult to observe osmosis in our bodies, let us learn about this process by observing it in raisins. The materials that are required for this activity are a beaker, water, concentrated sugar solution and raisins. Let us begin the activity. Take a beaker. Fill half of it with water and put in five or six raisins. Leave them undisturbed for about four to five hours and then observe any changes. What do you observe? Hey, all the raisins in the water have swollen. Their size and volume has increased. They look much bigger than they originally were. Now to understand the process better, let us do another small activity. Take another beaker filled with concentrated sugar solution. Now add the swollen raisins in it and leave the beaker undisturbed for about four to five hours. Now, let us observe the raisins. Look, the raisins have shrunk. This means that the size and volume of the raisins has decreased. Now that you have observed the changes in both the cases, let us look at the explanation for these changes. In this activity, the raisin resembles a cell and its outer membrane acts as a semi-permeable membrane which allows water molecules to move through it. Consider the first case where the raisins were kept in water. The water has a higher solvent concentration than the solvent concentration inside the raisins. Now, due to difference in concentration, an osmotic gradient is set up which results in water molecules moving from the water into the raisins. This type of osmosis is also known as endosmosis. This is why the raisins, when kept in water, swell up. On the other hand, in the second case, where the swollen raisins were kept in concentrated sugar solution, they shrink. Here, the outside medium has a lower solvent concentration than the medium inside the raisins, which means that here sugar solution acts as a hypertonic solution. Due to the difference in concentration, exosmosis occurs which causes the water molecules to move from the raisins into the sugar solution. It results in the raisins shrinking. From these activities, you can conclude that when raisins are kept in water, endosmosis occurs due to which water enters the raisins and causes them to swell. However, when raisins are kept in concentrated sugar solution, exosmosis occurs, due to which the raisins shrink and become flaccid. In this module, you have learned that osmosis is the movement of water molecules from a region of higher solvent concentration to a region of lower solvent concentration across a semi-permeable membrane. When raisins are kept in water, they increase in size due to endosmosis. When raisins are kept in concentrated sugar solution, they shrink due to exosmosis.